Hey guys, it's Heather from Here She Grows, and I'm hanging out with my Tarda Species Tulips. So first, let me tell you why this is important to me. Um, I have rabbit issues. So for those of you who follow my blog, you know how I feel about rabbits. And my rabbits are so, so familiar with me right now. I'm, I'm Honestly, I'm waiting for one of them to pop out and ask me for a smoke or a beer at this point. They're not afraid of me. Um, they'll come up to me while I'm cutting things down or working in the garden and just hop near me. They're that used to me. So um, they definitely make gardening a challenge and I pretty much gave up on tulip, trying to grow tulips because I simply can't. They mow them down. But I'd heard from members of my master gardener group over the years that they have great luck with species tulips and the rabbits don't touch them. So I thought, well, let's give that a try because I haven't tried tulips yet, species tulips. So I contacted Color Blends and uh, I'm collaborating with them. So I thank you Color Blends for sending me the uh, couple different varieties of species tulips as well as some darling little miniature daffodils that I'm going to show you in a moment as well. But what you're seeing here are these, these are Tarda species tulips. So they're very low growing. They're not like the frilly types you see, like the parrot tulips or the ice cream tulips that I can't make heads or tails of yet. I just, I really like these little guys. They stay very low to the ground and they are just darling. And I'm filming it right now because they open up when the sun hits them. They're closed. This stays shaded for much of the morning. And then as soon as the sun hits, they just open up. And I wanted to make sure I showed you these before they close. So. So far, so good. They've been open for about a week now, and not a single rabbit has been around them that I've seen. And usually at any given moment, I might have three to five between my front and backyard. So the sin bin is in my neighbor's yard. They have a deck, uh, a raised deck, and around the deck they have um, skirting, some lattice skirting, but it's not all the way around. So they've got a little spot near one of the stairs that's open. So that's where the hideout is and where all the fun happens for the rabbits. So, and they find their way to my garden, of course. So growing tulips is definitely a challenge as well as so many other things. But I wondered if, and this is gonna be, could be purely anecdotal, but I wondered how these species tulips would survive. Would they make it in my garden? Because I think I have a pretty hefty amount of, of rabbits back here, or in my front, this is my front yard, but they're in the backyard as well. So these are the tardas. And then on the other side of my garden, they're not in flower yet, I have another variety called Lilac Wonder. And those I have planted beneath a Japanese maple. So this is, the tartars are in my front bed underneath the prairie fire crab apple. And I've paired them with a miniature daffodil called Minnow. And if you head to the Color Blends website, which is what's really nice about it is, if you have a specific time of the summer, like you know, there's bulbs that flower in early spring, mid spring, mid to late spring, there's all different times. If you have a specific time and you'd like to see, you know, pair a couple different flowers, spring bulbs together, you can definitely do that by using their search criteria, being very specific about what you want, and then they'll give you suggestions. So this was a perfect combination. I love yellow. The tarted tulips have a beautiful little yellow center, and the ends are edged, it's edged in white. And then the daffodils are, the minnow daffodils have a yellow cup and then the little white petals around the outside. I'm not sure what the technical term for that is right now, but you get it. But both of them bloom at the same time. So that's extremely helpful because for me too, it's very hard to know what works, what's gonna bloom at the same time. And this takes the guesswork out of it for you. And as you can see here, they're blooming. So, so far so good. I have no rabbits showing any interest around here. Matter of fact, I haven't seen any frequenting around here either. So, and usually they would be here if there was something, if these were tulips, right, regular tulips, I guarantee you they'd be missing their tops right now. So um, I've tried growing many different varieties and either they've been mowed to the ground or they, as typical tulips do, they just don't come back. I'm hoping that's not the case with species tulips because they're more likely to naturalize in the garden, which means they'll spread everywhere. And that's what I'm hoping they'll do. They'll just kind of spread and mingle with the minnow daffodils and just have a nice little fun party in my front yard. And I have to do, that'll, that will require very little work from me, which is the whole goal because I don't like fussing over stuff. So we'll see, I'll keep you posted. And then as soon as those lilac wonder uh, tulips bloom on the other side of my garden, I'll show you those too.
Thank you.